very busy night here in Oakland, California. We had the, the yeah, Occupy I protesters the clashing with the police department, as you can see with the people behind me. They are cleaning up all the graffiti and the damage from yesterday. themselves felt the need to do it, but their own corporate source and those corporations are always vandalizing our minds with their advertising 24-7. Children grow up thinking of Rite Aid and Tully's and Starbucks as like norms in society when they're just big corporations with that have like personal rights in our government, whereas certain people don't have those rights. Speaking to some of the protesters today, they tell us that this does not represent what they're about and what their message is. Apparently these are all anarchists that came in out of the blue and just joined in on the protest yesterday. For the most part tonight was very peaceful, very calm. There was a, there was a small brief moment of tear gas and flash grenades around uh, a couple hours ago. Uh, but all day long, until that moment, it was very peaceful. There was actually almost no police presence whatsoever, and I thought that was an appropriate response uh, for them to step back. And then it was kind of cowardly and um, for them to come back at this very specific time when there was fewer people and have this kind of strong police presence. But, you know, they, they backed down, they went home, um, and... here tonight is not estimated at this point but with the Tully's coffee behind me we can see that people actually broke into the place and vandalized the inside of the coffee shop as daylight breaks here in Oakland California all we can say is that there was a lot of vandalism and a lot of damage caused to the buildings around here. Whether or not it was from the protesters or from people joining in as protesters, we really don't know.
reporting from Oakland, California. I'm Paula Savita.